Oh, hi right, guys, it's the Chop Mods. All right, guys, it's the Chop Mods. Um, this is just a quick, like, it's not really a tutorial. It's just something that can kind of help you if you have a JTAG and you need to organize it. So here you want to you want to make a file with all the patches you want, all the patches you host on. If you you don't need anything in here that you wouldn't host on, so fun things stuff like that. Then you're gonna want to plug in your flash, your flash memory stick. Um, so yeah, here it is. You want to click and drag the patches file into onto the memory stick. Once that's all copied in, might take a while because it's going to be quite big. So yeah, once it's on here, now all you need to do is plug your memory unit into your JTAG, and I'll show you the rest from the JTAG. All right, guys. Alright guys, now you're on your JTAG, what you want to do is you want to go to your game library, you want to go to XX menu, you want to play game. Then, you want to click RB on the controller, go to your memory unit, go down to the patches file. So this is where all the patches are now kept on your JTAG. So now go on to the patch you want to host, I'm just going to click on Kbrizzle's tree patch, just because it's a good patch. So you're going to want to copy the patch, you want to click X, you want to go down to hard drive. Then you want to go to your game save. And just simply paste it into your game save. There you go, now you paste it into there, just click on default underscore mp dot xex. And there you go, so there you go guys, there's just a simple way to keep your JTAG nice and organised. So you don't waste time in KVs and stuff like that and so it's quick. So yeah guys please thumbs up the video and please subscribe. I'll talk to you later. Alright, cheers guys.